All right, what's going on guys? Now in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at two new shakers and hopefully decide if you guys, if this is something you want to pick up. Now, uh, the coral shaker that we're going to be taking a look at was sold out and then it came back in stock and I think it sold out again and it might come back again. So if that's something you're going to be interested in, I definitely wanted to show you guys it here today. Now, also, we are going to be taking a look at the FLOM shaker. Um, that one is the first purple shaker that I've seen in a while. It is kind of close to my shock shaker, um, but it doesn't have all the attributes that mine did. It's mostly purple. So we're going to be taking a look at both of those and hopefully making you guys the decider factor if this is something that you want to pick up. But anyways, let's go ahead and open this up and see what these look like. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, use our professional unboxing knife for this. This is the package that it came in. So I am just going to go ahead and cut that there. And let's go ahead and open this baby up and see what we got in here, ladies. All right, so here we go. This is what we get when we open it up. The first one that, that we are going to take a look at is the FLOM shaker. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. So if you guys are not sure who this guy is, he is a, or used to be a professional CSGO player. Now he uh, full-time streams on Twitch as his job. And G Field decided to give that man a beautiful shaker. I do like this shaker. Um, it's really nice. I like that they went with the con the uh, translucent uh, down here instead of just uh, completely non seeable, see throughable like the top here. I really do like these translucent shakers a lot more than the ones that are fully colored and you can't see through them. However, this is a really nice shaker. I think it goes with my channel. I do like it. It doesn't go with my channel as much as the shock shaker obviously however i do really really like this shaker and it looks really nice he has an awesome logo as well so we're gonna put that one over there now next up let's put the box down there next up we have the coral shaker ladies and gentlemen now i do remember when g fuel was actually asking if people would buy this one um in the beginning of spring and summer and stuff and I'm glad that they came out with it. It looks really nice. I love the colors here. It really, really does look nice. Um, you know, you have all of those uh, flowers and stuff around the G Fuel logo. It's almost like a, um, I'd almost say this color in real life, it's almost a peach color. It's not really orange. It's more of a peachy color. And then you've got like this really nice teal color. And then if we take a look at the inside, we have of course the teal for the insert as well. And I think it's just a really nice shaker. It looks really nice. Um, and this is definitely something that Brenna might like my girlfriend. So maybe I'll give this one to her. Um, but either way, that's that one. Now, let me also show you guys the inside of this one. I forgot to do that. Of course, we have the black top, the purple top, the translucent inside, the black G Fuel logo, the logo from a man, and then we have the black insert. This almost looks like a, it's interesting. It almost looks like a midnight. I'd call this a midnight black shaker uh, or midnight purple. I really like it. I like this one. I like that shaker. It's almost a little too dark for me though, but I really do like this one as but well. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, those are the two new shakers that G Fuel has come out with. Um, I will try to make sure to always keep you guys updated with any new G Fuel shakers that come out with. I know I'm not instantly on top of them right when they came, came out because the coral shaker, unfortunately, um, when it came out, it went out of stock literally inst instantaneously. So I had to wait until it came out again to be able to get it and show you guys. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and thank you for everyone that's been using code SHOCK lately. I do appreciate it very much. Um, just everyone that's been using code SHOCK on G Fuel. Like, I don't think you guys realize I'm sure some of you guys obviously realize how much it means to me. Everyone that uses Code Shock, it's just, it's giving me the opportunity to possibly have a G Fuel flavor one day, and it's giving me so many opportunities. Um, and it really shows G Fuel how powerful and strong, like, the Shock Army is. I know it might sound cringy, but you guys just use Code Shock so much, and it really does mean a lot to me. Like, we are such a smaller community. But yet, somehow, we manage, I can't reveal numbers or anything, but we manage to have um, code uses that are literally close to people with millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of subscribers. So I just wanted to say thank you guys. It really does mean a lot to me. 
um, and it shows G Fuel that we are worthy of a shock flavor one day. So thank you guys very much, and thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys. So I also want to let you guys know if you guys need any designs done, thank you to my guy at Rad Studios. He's done my banners and stuff for quite some time now. So if you guys need any uh, design work done, make sure to send him a DM on Twitter. That link will be down in the description below.